A Dayton nonprofit helping women who are victims of sex trafficking is looking to raise money to continue its mission. The sidewalk soldiers are holding a fundraiser this weekend and to news reporter Kelly King is digging deeper into the work they do and why they need donations. The sidewalk soldiers were founded in 2016. Less than a year ago, they opened the Safe Haven drop in center with more than 700 visitors and they need funding to continue their outreach. It's happening all around us. Driving on Xenia Avenue. Sometimes we can be closed off to believing that sex trafficking doesn't happen in our own backyard. Across from St. Mary's Church, refuge from the outside world. It's just a safe place for them to have like a respite. Gabby Morgan is on the board of directors for the Sidewalk Soldiers. I think it's a really rewarding uh, position to see women go from a lifestyle that's really risky, uh, unsafe, to really building a new life for themselves. The Sidewalk Soldiers are the boots on the ground, helping victims and survivors of trafficking and exploitation get on their feet. We reach women on our street outreach and then they come in and they build these relationships with our workers here. The Safe Haven Drop-In Center gives women a place to go for help with needs and support. The nonprofit relies on grants and monetary and material donations. Funding for human trafficking is hard to come by because there is a lot of stigma around it. For the first time, the sidewalk soldiers are holding a quarter auction. It will be held at the Ambets Post 99 in Vandalia on Brown School Road. Doors open at 530 Saturday evening. We've had a lot of great community donors, partnerships, donate some really wonderful baskets. 100% oh, okay. of the proceeds are going right back into Sidewalk Soldiers funding. Much needed money to continue their work advocating for victims and supporting survivors. The goal is to raise $8,000 during this fall fundraiser. To donate, you can head to our website, WDTN.com. Kelly King, 2 News.